Hi friends, this is the text you add in a window. Uh, some text we have read already written or you can add more text to this. So you can watch here that we have a menu uh, at the top. So in that the fun and I can click this because it's a uh, tier of is one. So I can separate this menu. You can learn about what is tier of and how in uh, and how it can be disabled or enabled by you reading our uh, menu. Uh, tutorial and that link is available in the description. So see this this we had this uh, details from there and use it in this menu the same menu I can just uh, close this and use it from here also I am just for convenient I am using it uh, separately bringing it here. So here you can see I have a zoom plus zoom minus now what happens I can increase the font size by going zoom plus and decrease the font size by going zoom minus. I can place it here also okay now the font family I can change the font family I can now make it Arial black and I again back to times you can have more such font families also you can just adding up different different font families now let's just again go for zoom it plus now the font style I can change the font style and make it bold you can see it's bold now now I can change it to underline or I can change it bring it to normal so add zoom minus whatever I want to use it now this is how I can control the text in in uh, in in this text inside this text widget we'll learn how to manage this this time I will explain you the code rather than writing it because it's a little long not a very much it's just around uh, 70 73 lines of code so this is the basic Kinter window I imported and the geometry it's 810 by 500 you can change it to whatever I have used here frame and pack layout so not a grid usually I go for grid so you can see here this frame I have created inside this my, my frame this is the frame I declared inside that frame first the label where I say that it's your text you can change it to whatever you want and it is fill both end and expand is zero here I don't want this to be expanded now what's this font one this font one is the key it is the by default option whatever the fonts uh, family size and style these two three things font family the, the size and the style these three things I kept it in a list here because the earlier you can, if you have seen our uh, tutorial we have used a tuple but this time we want to change these values different based on the menu interaction of the user so we need a list so we can update this value that I am connected it to here uh, below that there is a text wizard and here you can see the font one I have connected and here I have given the expand equal to one in the pack layout so what happened the uh, whatever when I'm zooming it out the entire space is occupied by is the window will not uh, the frame will not expand but this font one or uh, sorry my text wizard will expand it so this is all about the layout nothing great in that this one string I have created two lines of string a line break so and I have used the insert command here to insert it inside the text wizard so you can see my HTML welcome to plus two net then there is a line break learn again second line I've just uh, used the second line to add little more text you can put lot of text whatever way you want you can do it. line break is here it is this is the line break I have given and I have inserted it till the end the entire string to our text uh, widget so the, in, inside the text area this this would uh, this lines of text will be available now we'll move to the core area where how this menus and the font before that let's just you just see here towards the end all the menus are added and there are three functions one for increasing or decreasing the font size the second one is for the managing the our uh, sorry the uh, first one is the font family here it is you can see then font size how I will uh, change increase or decrease and font style style is normal bold and uh, italic sorry it is underlined so whatever way these three are given other things you if you add you can add it also so these are the three functions which will be triggered based on the menu items whatever the user clicks so this part is the menu part you can see this is the menu what is the uh, menu I have added a sub menu to that and here you can see this is the, I will start with for so let's see how the font size increases here you can see here that two things increase and decrease so this particular co command in the menu 
when I am clicking zoom plus plus, I am passing the my font size, I am passing increase as a parameter and zoom minus minus somebody is clicking means is passing decrease. This is the only difference, but the function is common. So let's just see that one moment someone clicks the direction increase or decrease is passed here. Here it is. So this this is the line what it is. Now you can see the suppose I will receive the one direction dir here. So this is either increase or decrease. If it is increase say if dir is increased this parameter is increased then font one font one is what font one is if you go to the top or see this diagram by this this side so you can see font zero one two three elements are there so one is holds the size so for that i am increasing it i'm reading it then whatever the value is increasing it by two now say i am using again elif elif means if if condition has failed we are not using else condition elif if it is decrease side then it will reduce by minus 2 say you want that font to increase or decrease at a higher scale then this make it 4 5 or whatever way you whatever suits you so this this uh, increment or decrement you want the decrement to be slow also that also this value this second this two value you can change it to uh, one say and this value you can increase to four so your increment increase side will be fast and decrease side will be slow and finally this is the line which i am configuring again the font to adjust to the increase inside without this thing only the data will change but actually it will not reflect in the uh, text wizard so i am reconfiguring the text wizard by giving the new value of the our list or the font one let's see what you have learned now so here i am just again using zoom plus so moment i am clicking zoom plus this particular my font size receives this di dir this particular function i'll just remove this idea yeah. so this particular one it receives the increase so value will be increased so this again the font one it increased by two so and again it is configured now the moment i in click this zoom minus it is uh, the decrease one uh, part uh, code gets executed and this font one element first uh, second element zero and one so second element decrease by two and again it is reconfigured let's uh, move to the how you will adjust the font uh, family so font family is this particular one so let's just move this one to because first we discussed about font size so let's use it keep it wherever you can keep it it doesn't matter i'll uh, keep it at the beginning fine so this we have discussed now let's discuss about font family now you see for font family i will just this uh, this is the function so it receives what type of family it is font family it's vardana or anything you can use your whatever font you are using and this the family is the first element so it is font one zero and i are recon and just you are setting the value because whatever the old one will be replaced with the new one whatever the parameter we receive so and then it is configured say at the down you can see the here it is font family it is we have written here here you can see the font families we are written times and Arial. so let let's do one thing we'll copy this line we'll try to add one more family here so i'll just pasting it here you have seen we have only two families times and Arial black now we'll say calibri so this is the value which the parameter we pass this part here it is the text or the label what we see or the user see so this is one we have added just to a command one font we have added now let's run this and see so we are running this here yeah, fine so here you can now you can see uh, i will have one more extra font family here here our new calibre is there if i will change it this is changed to calibre now let me just zoom it bit so you can see it easily i have zoomed it increase the font size what i have discussed now now i am changing the font family to arial black it is arial black now so this is how the family change now let's go move to the style this is the function my font style this is text care of our style it receives a it reads a value it will not receive anything it reads a value r1b 
what is r1 v is here at line number 42 you can see we declare it is the int variable it's an integer variable 1 2 3 three values it will set it by a radio button radio button again it's in the inside the menu so it will one of them at a time particularly it will be uh, selected so that's the difference between a radio button and a check button so radio button means either it can be normal bold or underline you cannot have any two three combination whereas in check boxes you can have more than one selected so once you select bold means this if you are previously selected normal that will be deselected so based on the what the user has selected this r1 v because it's an integer variable we have to use get method to get the value so this value will be either one two or three so for that reason here it is you can see here let's scroll down to our menu yeah here it is so you can see the in the menu sub menu we have added three a normal bold and underline so this particular these three things runs a single function the common function my font style we, we don't we are not passing anything but the you can see here the value is set to one for the second one the value is set to two value is set to three for the third one at the same time variable is all the three cases the variable is common this is r1 v it's the common variable but values are different it is one two three that's the basic difference between a radio button and a check button the variable has to be common but the values can change whereas in a check in a check box you, you can have a different different because they are independent so that's the basic difference now let's for our understanding let's add one more style to this i think you can you can go for italic so let's put that i've just copied this and paste it here so the function is same now what I am doing, I am value, I am adding it to 4. So 1, 2, 3. Now I have value, I have given 4. Here I am writing it. Okay, so it's for display purpose only, italic. But the value, it will set it to 4. So we have to read it as 4. Now let's go to our function. Where it is? It is okay. Let me bit left. Yeah, here it is. So the, in this function, I have to add now one more elif condition. So I am just copying this, copied, uh, just pasting instead of typing all the time, I am pasting it here. Okay, so that's one R1 B get equal to four. Then it is. Uh, okay, so that's all. So this is I have added one more style to it so the one two three four so i'll i should have four options let's just check that so here it is now you can see font let me detach it okay let me bring it inside yeah here it is i have detached it now font style font style normal bold i have bold let's make it bold now let's make it italic so this is what we have added now so other thing another thing is normal let you i can bring it to normal i can bring it to underline so it is underline so like that i can change the thing the way you want you can add also so that's all these are the uh, three things we manage we manage the size we manage the font family and we manage the font style so this is how you can add these features if you are developing any package or applications you can add this feature feature to the your text area so accordingly user can use that that's all this was also one of the question asked so for your understanding i have just explained it the code is little bigger so i have not written it if you have any doubt or anywhere got stuck up let me let us know it and post your questions ideas suggestions in the comment section below and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new videos we frequently do that thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel